In this video, we're going to be going over Fusion's user interface. So first of all, we've got this main area here, which is called the canvas. This is the main area that you'll be using in Fusion because it's where your model is displayed. In the canvas section, you can right click and it brings up a menu of frequently used items, or alternatively, something that's relevant to the function that you're about to do. And here we also have the view cube. You can use this to rotate your model and view it from different angles. You can also click on it and rotate the view to how you like it. If you click on the home icon, it rotates it back to the standard view. You can also right click on this and you'll get other options such as changing the perspective and other items. Next, we have the data panel. So if I click this button up here, it's going to show me the data panel. From here, we can create new projects and also organize our files. Fusion is a cloud-based software, so all these files are saved to their cloud. Now here, we have the refresh button, a search button, and then we can close this panel from here. Next, we have the application bar, and here we can click file and we have options for saving and also exporting our designs. We have a button here for saving, and then we have an undo and redo button. And here we have a home button, which brings up the home page. Then we have our design here, which is called the file name. And this kind of works like an internet browser, where we can open up a new tab and create a new design, and then we can close that. So your application bar might look slightly different depending on which version you're using. Now here we've got extensions, the job status, notification center, and also help. And then on this one, you have your profile. So if I click on that, we've got our Autodesk account, and we can also change our preferences from here. And we can also sign out of our account if we wish to from here. Next, we have the toolbar. This is gonna be one of the main things that you're going to be using. So in this toolbar, we can either choose what we want to do from here, or alternatively, we've got these tabs running across the top here. So we have tabs for solid modeling, surface modeling, meshes, sheet metal, plastic, utilities, and also management. And you can also see, for example, if I create a new sketch, it's going to give an additional layout to the toolbar. And this gives me additional options that I couldn't see before that are relevant to this button. Now, below the canvas is the navigation bar, and I don't use this too often personally, to be honest. These selections on the left-hand side here allow different options for viewing your model. But if you're using a mouse with a clickable scroll wheel, then you can change the view much more quickly than using these buttons. So that's why I don't use these too often, but it could be useful for you if you're using a trackpad or alternatively a mouse such as the Magic Mouse. And here on the right hand side, you have your display settings where you can change the visual styles and also have alternative options. Next, we have the browser on this left hand side. And here you can see the assembly and all of the components inside that assembly. And if I drop this down, you can see the bodies, the sketches and other items that make up those components and that assembly. You can also turn on and off the visibility of these by clicking on this eye. And next we have the timeline, which shows your model's history. So if I click the play button here, you can see it runs through the design. And I can also go backwards and forward steps. And you can also make modifications to each of the elements from here. And these are the elements that make up the user interface of Autodesk Fusion. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it useful, then please do hit that like button and also subscribe. See you in the next one. Cheers.